It's an emotional meeting. These people from all over the country all suffer from a baffling disease, including the youngest patient, this little three-year-old. Everything about this is not normal. It's going to be really hard. Mother and daughter say they are both afflicted. I'm just scared. Very scared. It's called Morgellons disease. The origin is unknown. What's truly bizarre? The disease produces strange fibers that emerge from the skin. The X-Files, it's nothing short of that. The symptoms are painful and even creepy. The itching was so bad that it was painful. Stinging, biting, crawling. Using magnifying devices, they comb their bodies, examining what they say are outbreaks of the disease. There's one. You sit and you wonder what on earth could cause this. And that's the big question about Morgellons disease. You see, most doctors don't recognize it as a disease at all. They say people who claim to have it are delusional, conjuring up parasites, scratching themselves, even planting textiles like cotton on themselves to feed the delusion. I've had 17 visits with doctors over the past three years. All of them, except one, have basically laughed at me. Nicole says doctors first thought her daughter Ashley had severe diaper rash until the lesion spread to her face. She constantly thinks that there are bugs on her. So, and that's what it feels like. It feels like um, things are crawling underneath your skin. I don't think these patients are crazy. At Oklahoma State University in Tulsa, Dr. Rhonda Casey believes Morgellons is a genuine thing? illness and takes precautions when examining Morgellons patients. We don't know yet whether it's contagious. Dr. Casey says all her patients exhibit the same types of lesions and scars. She says they are definitely not self-inflicted. They all appeared to be eruptions more than scratched areas on their skin. Dr. Casey has taken numerous fiber samples and says they're unlike anything she's ever seen. They are not textile. They are not any known substance. Dr. Casey was amazed by the mysterious fiber on Brian's hand and decided to have it tested. She tugs on it, but the fiber holds firm. Finally, it comes loose. We took the whole plug of skin with it. Dr. Casey and her colleague, Dr. Randy Wymore, take the samples to Tulsa's crime lab. Morgellons fibers are not any known textile, cotton or rayon or nylon. Or not any of those. What's more, the fibers don't burn when exposed to high heat. Have you ever done a fiber that didn't vaporize completely other than the Morgellons fiber? Uh, no. Many in the medical community are nonetheless skeptical, but people who say they have Morgellons are okay. desperate. Look at the evidence. That's all we ask. Look at the evidence.